Hi, this is Kelsey with Beyond Labs. Today I'm just going to do a little instructional video on how to do TLC uh, in the organic lab to monitor the progress of your reaction. So the <clears throat> activity that I'm going to be using to demonstrate today is 8-1, benzene nitration 1. And I already have it set up, so I already have my reactants um, in the flask as well as my solvent and everything else, my heater, my condenser, my nitrogen flowing in to begin the reaction. So in order to perform a TLC, you'll just come over here to the TLC plate folder. You click on it and drag over a TLC plate. So I haven't begun the reaction yet, and you'll see that. So on the left lane, you have um, your starting materials, and in the right lane, you have whatever's in your flask currently as it reacts. So you can see that because the reaction hasn't started, we have all reactants to start, and we still have all reactants. You'll notice that as soon as I drag this TLC plate to the flask, the time advanced five minutes. Um, and so the, the closest time interval you can do for each of your TLC plates is five minutes by default. So close this, and we'll begin the reaction. And I'll drag over another TLC plate right away. And you can see the reaction has already begun to happen. So now we have this little spot in our products lane showing that we're beginning to form um, the three nitrobenzaldehyde, which is the product for this reaction. I'll show it again and see that the reaction should have progressed more. Okay, so you can see the spot has gotten a little bit larger for this one. And if I progress the reaction, a half hour. Bring over another TLC plate. See that now your product spot is getting much larger and your reactant spot is quite a bit smaller. Um, and then when you drive the reaction to completion, you should no longer see any reactant spot. So it looks like we don't have anything else. There you go. So all our reactants have been consumed and we have all product. So that's how you do a TLC. Um, you can save these TLC plates in your lab notebook and make comments about the time, um, when they were taken, and so forth. <clears throat> but it's pretty straightforward. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and go to beyondlabs.com for the latest virtual labs.